All right, the do-it-yourself, the homemade septic system, the do-it-yourself septic system, made out of stuff that you probably have sitting around the house. Now, I put this in last night, got the tractor out, dug the hole, put it all together last night, um, and I will be tearing it apart and covering the hole back up. I, uh, I just did this so you can see or get an idea of a do-it-yourself homemade septic system. Now, I don't know if you can tell it or not, uh, but all this is sitting in pretty level. The trash can and the 50-gallon drum is sitting in there pretty level. Um, the three-inch pipe going into the tank, we'll call this the septic tank, and we'll call these the chambers. So the three-inch pipe, you can use four inch. This is a three inch. The three inch pipe going into the septic tank is at a, a eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch slope towards the septic tank. Uh -uh. The pipe leaving the septic tank and going into the chamber is the same thing. It's a eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch slope going into the chamber. Remember, water flows downhill, not uphill. Okay, so all this is three inch, all of the sanitary tee, the 90 degree elbow, all three inch. So we have a three inch inlet pipe that goes into the septic tank. Uh, you drill you a hole, push it in there. Now, if your hole's too big that you drill, just caulk around it. All right, this is a three inch sanitary tee. This setup is, is here to keep the uh, solid in the tank and let the liquid flow out. Three inch sanitary tee with a tail piece on it. Three inch pipe and a three inch 90 degree elbow. Now all this is fits pretty tight in here. I don't have to caulk all of this or any of this really. Um, so how this works, your solid and liquid toilet paper poop and all comes into the tank. Toilet paper floats on top. That's why this is here to keep the toilet paper from going out into the chamber system. Solid uh, poop collects on bottom and in the middle, right in this area, is where is where the, just the liquid is at. And so the liquid comes up and out into the chamber, just liquid. Now the liquid soaks into the ground. This will be covered up with dirt. We cover all this up with dirt. This, this trash can is right at the ground level. The top of it is right at ground level. You'll put the trash can lid over it and put the dirt all around it or even on top of it. It doesn't matter. But this will be covered up with dirt. And so that, that ground soaks up the solid, soaks up the solid. So you picture this covered covered with dirt, grass growing on it. You'd never know it was there. All of the liquid soaks down into the ground and of course the sun will evaporate a lot of it. But that's it. We've got a trash can. You can see what I've done here. Don't really have to explain it too much. I put now, now the this outlet pipe is two inches lower this outlet pipe going out is two inches lower than the inlet pipe, the pipe coming in. It, that's so important that you do that. The outlet pipe has to be about two inches lower than this inlet pipe. And so what happens is, is that the bottom of this inlet pipe is two inches, stays two inches above the water level. That water level will stay about right here all the time. And this pipe will be two inches above that water level all the time. And that's because this pipe going out is level. The bottom of this pipe going out, the bottom of it is level with that water level. Every time a drop of water comes in, boom, a drop of water goes out. So that, if this system is working correctly, the bottom of this pipe will be level with the water level in the tank. The bottom of this pipe will be two inches above the water level in the tank. Anyway, 
didn't want to get into that too much. I've got another couple of other videos that explain how a septic system works. I actually look at a septic system and a tank and kind of explain to you how it works. So scroll down and find that if you have any more questions. Two inches lower. This pipe has to be two inches lower than this pipe. Okay, so you can see this is a trash can. Now these, this, these two things are a 50 gallon drum. I stood the drum straight up. I cut the top of the drum out. And then I split the drum right down the middle. I didn't cut the bottom out. We leave the bottom and cut the top. This is where the top is. The two open pieces go together. The end piece, <clears throat> uh, the bottom of the barrel is here. It has its end on it. Same over here. Same thing over here has its end on it. These two are open. So just liquid comes into here. These will fill up, but eventually soak into the ground. Now you can modify this. You can put this lower or higher, the whole system. You can punch holes in the bottom of this trash can and in the sides and put gravel around it, then cover it up with dirt. That would help out as well. But this is simple, easy, quick, and cheap. Now, this right here is not going to run a whole house. It, how this is set up here with the just the one barrel cut into and the trash can, basically all you would want to run off of this is the toilets your retreat property, your bug out location, huh? uh, a mother-in-law suite, your uh, cabin in the woods, your uh, deer camp, uh, if you have a shop at your house. It'll basically just run the, the uh, toilets and maybe the bathroom sink. Uh, and it'll handle probably four or five people of living in it. It will. I know it for sure. By experience, I know this. Anyway, so just the toilets in here. This won't handle wash machine and taking showers and that sort of thing. If you wanted to do that, you would extend these. You would get several barrels and extend these. Now, you want about a foot of dirt. About a foot. Six inches to a foot. I would want at least a foot of dirt <clears throat> over these. So you would dig that ditch deep enough so that you could cover this. You could cover this with at least a foot of dirt. Uh, and then this can be anywhere you want it. Above ground, below ground, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You'd have to work this out differently. But that would be simple and easy. Like I say, if you want to run a whole, a whole cabin off of this, you would have to get several barrels, dig your ditch, and continue that on. And the more chamber, the more barrels, the more chambers you have, the uh, bigger load it's going to take. This is set up for a toilet that will handle probably three, four, five people. Constant. Constant. Of course, now, I've got a, another video on how you empty and take care of a homemade septic system, which would be digging a hole. Digging a hole. And about twice a year, maybe once a year, you would come out lift the lid off and dig out with a shovel and dump it in your hole and just bury, just cover your hole up with dirt. And it just goes into the soil and turns into fertilizer. Uh, that's it though. There you go. That's a do-it-yourself septic system. Like I say, it can be modified. It can be modified dirt goes right back in the hole you cover this up to ground level again with dirt and you never know it's there you, it, you grow grass over it and you just you'll never know this is very very cheap you could actually use this for a whole house of seven people living in the house you, you could use this system here. It's very crude, very simple, very primitive. Um, 
you would just have to dig out that you would have to clean out that septic tank quite often but you can do that with a shovel or a bucket i know it sounds gross um and if you was going to do it for a whole house you would just um you would just have to extend these out you know do several of them let us go over and see all right excuse the bumpiness i want to try to get down here and Oh, you can see I'm standing on the barrel. They're pretty tough, man. These 50-gallon drums. See that? That's it. Just a barrel split in half. Soaks into the ground. Now, some people, I've seen some people put holes in the side so they can help soak in but i wouldn't do that these things aren't very tall they're not very tall so really no need in doing that anyway i hope that's it i hope i covered everything see it that'll all fill up with water and be like a holding tank that slowly uh slowly uh, goes into the soil and of course the sun evaporates some of it so if you can do it in a sunny spot you're better off this comes from the house goes into the tank this pipe is two inches lower than this pipe. So then every time a drop comes in, a drop goes out. And it's just liquid because the solid stays in the tank. Comes into here. And these chambers fill up to here. If you can ever get them to fill up that far, I doubt you can with just a toilet. Like I say, you can probably put a bathroom sink on this. I know you could as well. Uh, and maybe, maybe a kitchen sink. It all depends on how much use you give this thing. So, I got another video on a grease trap that you would want to run your gray water through. Your showers, your sinks, kitchen, your wash machine, which collects... All the grease, all the food, all the shampoo and soap, all the solid hair and all that, it collects it in the tank and flows right up onto the ground. Anyway, that's a five-gallon bucket with two-inch pipe and two-inch fittings. You might want to check that out. So if you had this for the toilet and that grease trap for the gray water, the rest of the house, then you could run your whole place off of that. Anyway, we'll see you, friend.